All right. So welcome to our Mindset Monday. We're excited that you guys joined us. We have an awesome speaker from corporate, from Cincy Corporate um, on tonight, Sarah Walker. Sarah is, I had to look at your actual title, um, the Consultant Training Program Manager. So to me, this is what I think Sarah does. Sarah's kind of like the jack of all trades. Since I've known Sarah a long time ago, back when Jackson was a baby, I remember bringing Jackson to home office and Sarah and Annie and all them were loving on him. And I believe she did more of a, I think she did training back then, but I kind of think she's done a little bit of everything. I think she's done incentive, a lot of training. I mean, everything Sarah's done it. She knows a lot. She's been around. She can tell you better than I can, but she, I've been around for, it was actually 14 years on December 3rd. And I believe Sarah has been around for that that amount or maybe even longer uh, 12 12 for 12. me I just had my 12th anniversary in October yeah <gasps> yay so along so we pretty much since I started going to events after my first oops yeah. after my first you know year being in we've pretty much seen each other everything and yeah, for sure. Sarah's Sarah's amazing though she really is she she's got a great personality and she's good at what she does and she knows I feel like you know a little bit of everything to to kind of because you've been there so what other areas have you worked in um, I started, um, I've always had a history of training. I went to school to be a teacher, actually. And so I've had a history of just some sort of training or teaching component. But it, funny, really quick backstory. I almost joined under Jason Harwood's ex-wife. She was a fancy lady. Mm -hmm. And we lived right down the road from each other. And I would always get my wax from her. And like, I remember going to their house and Jason would answer the door. Here's your wax, Sarah. You know, <laughs> so I knew Jason from years ago. And she's like, you buy for me all the time. Why don't you just join? And I was like, yeah. And I, I was home with Owen. He was barely a year old. And um, I was like, yeah, I, I need to. And my, the company that I was working for before did a huge layoff. And I was home for the summer freaking out because I didn't have a job and I had a one-year-old baby at home. And she's like, why don't you just join my team, earn some extra money, at least, you know, for diapers and stuff. And then, you know, if something comes of it, great. And so I was about to click submit and I got a little pop-up on my email that said career builder is hiring or from career builder since he's hiring, do you want to submit your resume? And so I did and the rest is history. And so I came in actually in consultant support because back then they wanted everyone to have an experience within consultant support to get to know all the inner workings of what the consultant life is about and shipping, distribution, where like all of the pieces and parts that you just have to know. And so I was in consultant support and I was the Canada specialist because my ex-husband was Canadian. And so they're like, oh, you know, Canadian culture, you can do the Canada girls. I'm like, okay. Um, and so I did that for about like nine months and then I moved into training and I've been there ever since. But yeah, like incentive stuff, event stuff, all the event planning. Um, I was with Velada for a very long time. I was very sad when that departed, loved a lot of, a lot of, uh, but yeah, definitely bleed purple. So here I am. Sorry, my son is coming out of the bathroom naked. So I'm like, go that way, go that way. <laughs> Not up here. Go, no, 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 go that way. Um, so <laughs> back to you. Um, so tonight you are going to talk about, did I read that right? Talk about getting back to the basics of our business. Yeah. So I was talking with Kelsey a little bit like back in October and thinking like, Hey, let's kind of dive in a little bit to catalog a little bit more. And then I think after all of the, I'll use this word later on too, probably the hullabaloo of limited time offers and the craziness of the holiday thought it would be really timely to explore that idea of catalog back to basics a little bit more. So I have some notes typed out. I, I tend to squirrel. I have a dog. I have a child very nearby. So <laughs> I'll probably stick with my notes, but um, don't you worry about a thing. And I do have some training documents that I do want to show you really quickly at the end, just to give you an idea and like offer some extra help. So of course, I'm on the training and development team. I would be remiss if I did not point you to some training, um, but I promise that it's designed. See, I told you there she is, unstable Mabel. Um, I told you that it, I think I would be failing you if I did not give you some sort of training component, but let me pull up my notes quickly first and then I'll dive into, um, oh, thank you, dear heart. See, she barks and she needs a T-R-E-A-T, -E but I told Owen that he was on Mabel duty tonight, so. Um, <laughs> Anyway, 
So I'll show you those um, actual documents at the very end, but I, I want to build up to it. So first and foremost, um, I'm here for to talk about the catalog, but first I just want to say like after today, um, for whatever conversations, I know there's been a lot going on, just to let you guys know that we see the comments, we see the frustration. Um, there's been you know, a lot of internal conversations that are still happening at Sensi, and we know that today was you know, the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back for a lot of situations. So it's it's tough. I totally get it. Like I just bought a fancy schmancy planner that arrives tomorrow. I got it for seven bucks on Cyber Monday, but last week I paid 40. <laughs> so I totally get it. <laughs> but then I thought, okay, well, I bought it for 40 for me, but then I bought a lot for gifts for seven bucks because I'm like, well, this is a screaming deal. I'm just going to get this and, you know, do this for gifts. And then I wouldn't have been able to bless as many with that gift if I had had to pay 40 bucks per. So anyway, it's all perspective. I don't want to dive too far into that. You guys all know that. Um, I'm here specifically to talk to you about the catalog and getting back to basics with it but also how you can be a solution provider, not just during the holiday <laughs> frenzy, but any time of year, especially as we're creeping ever so close to a transition month, but basically how you can offer products to your customers from a place of service, not just because there's a sale. So you're, you're offering them in a calculated, intentional way, and you're using LTOs and catalog product, because really I think there's a time and a place for both. Um, LTOs are not just sales during the holidays or for big like licensing launches. I mean, even scent and warmer the month, like even Mother's Day or bring back my bar, bring back my buddy, even with box when you think about it is a limited time offer. So I think kind of shifting perspective a little bit as to what that limited time offer, dare I say frenzy is all about, but I want to go over really quickly why we do LTOs, but then really spend the rest of the time diving in to catalog. So LTOs, just to give you the backstory about why we do them, they do ultimately provide new reasons to connect with existing customers. Um, it's a reason to reach out. It's exciting. It's while supplies last, you kind of feed off of that. It increases PRV during holidays and even between, you know, the catalog launches, because you know, our catalogs are six months at a time, but they were never intended to replace your main source of income or to become your main source of income. They're just the extra. So think of limited time offers or there's LTOs as cupcakes, okay? <laughs> or Christmas cookies, whatever. It's timely. I had two today, no judgment, um, but loaded with frosting and lots of sprinkles. They look and they smell amazing. And the sugar adds that burst of energy when you need it. It's a fun addition but you cannot thrive on that sugar alone. Your business needs the sustainability of catalog. Think of that as your main meal. It's loaded with the healthy protein, the fruits, the vegetables, and the nutrients that are essential for the long-term growth. And I think right now in the midst of it, I'll say hullabaloo again with all the LTOs this season, I think, and let's be real, over the last two years, it's been bananas, but the catalog can provide consistency and dependability and even, dare I say, a source of comfort, maybe you didn't know that you needed. So if you think about the catalog, looking at it, you have consistent six month inventory. There's no, God, it's gonna sell out kind of a mentality. There's no rush to the cart or like have to stress out like, oh my God, oh my gosh, I just like, I have to work today. I can't get on, it launches at 11. I can't do this, I can't do that. You don't have that, you have that calm and consistent, dedicated, devoted source of products that you can always offer. So the catalog offering to me is really better for parties and fundraising way more so than LTOs. I've seen a lot of frustration where people are doing parties and they're, they're basing a lot of those parties on some of these LTO launches. And that's where the frustration's coming in. But I think if you're looking at a party, yeah, sure. If there's something extra with an LTO, absolutely reference that. But I think if you're just using that stability for your parties and fundraising, I think you're going to be a lot happier <laughs> in the long run. Um, also with catalog, this is a solution providing alternative for gifting any time of year for any special event, any home decor refreshes for the season, um, any season really, um, the change of weather, change of color, dynamic, whatever office space enhancement, any stinky scenario in the home, the car, the classroom, 
office, dorm room, you name it, anywhere there are people or furry snugglers, you have the opportunity to make someone's life easier and at the very least help it smell a little bit better. So think of it like that. There are tons of fragrance options. There are tons of product options. There are tons of style options, category options. We're gonna cover categories in just a minute. Um, so think of that. You have a lot of things that you can offer more so than just a 48 hour sale or this thing that may come and go really quickly. Um, so during the holidays, especially now with the supply chain and poor issues that everyone everywhere is experiencing, even you, Mabel, um, there's been a heavy push for LTOs, but honestly, in my mind, the catalog is the hero. Um, so speaking of heroes, I have a little, um, <laughs> little parallel for you here. So I'll just stick with the licensing theme. So think of the Avengers. Um, I'm, kind of an, I'm kind of a Marvel nerd. I love DC as well. Um, but I really kind of gravitate more toward Marvel. Um, but with the Avengers, they rally together. They do amazing things, but they also have a really strong, honey, I'm going to need your help here. <laughs> they also have really strong individual storylines. So like, I love me some Thor Ragnarok and Dr. Strange as standalones, but when they all come together, sign me up. Or here's another licensing example for you Harry Potter fans out there. House of Ravenclaw. Um, remember when Harry and Hermione and Ron were destroying poor cruxes in the Deathly Hallows, okay? So Harry, for some reason, always thinks he's better off alone. Always. In every flipping movie he or every book, he's like, I'm better off alone. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. But really, when they work together, when they come together, they thrive and they ultimately win. <laughs> So not, spoiler alert, in case you haven't read Harry Potter, or seen the movies, they, they, good triumphs over evil. I will just say that. Um, so think of your business with catalogs and LTOs the same way. On their own, these LTOs can be great if you are appealing to the right customer base. And the catalog products can also be great if you're applying or appealing to the right customer base and their noses and their decor and their style. There's all of these options for everyone. And that's why we offer so many different types of, of style and decor and fragrances. There's something for everybody. You don't have to push it all at them at once. And I think this is the kicker for any product. Just because there's a frenzied product launch doesn't mean you have to take part. You are in control of what you are showing your customers. You're an independent consultant and you can choose whether or not you want to promote something. So for example, if you only want to feature wax and warmers, that's your groove, that's where you shine, that's what you love, focus on that. If you have diffuser users, you want to explore that realm a little bit more, go for it. You want to stick to Disney stuff, great. Warner Brothers, that's great too. You're just like buddies and stuff for kids and you want to do buddy drives, there you go. I, for example, I know a director who sells pets products, that's it, she just sells pets. Her business caters to pet lovers, veterinarians, like um, vet offices. She does a lot with animal rescue groups. She does not dabble in any other product, and that's okay for her. I know. You relate to that. I get it. Um, so <laughs> Owen is doing a terrible job of keeping the dog occupied, I might add. What is the matter, lady? Her name's Mabel. We call let's, her. Hey, Let's, let's see. see this cute dog. Yeah, I, think I don't know. She might be on my lap be on camera come here. come here she won't no darn it she was she's on like, my lap of course today but because i made her too she's camera shy yeah she's camera shy see if she wants to go outside honey um okay so now that you have the whole spiel of the background behind why we do ltos and catalog together they all work in tandem really well they, it's not just a one or the other. You can do that, but I think that you're really going to see more of your business thrive if you have a nice, healthy blend of the two, just like eating cookies, just like eating cupcakes. You can't live on that alone. And then if you only had like chicken and vegetables, man, that'd be, that'd be boring. I want a cookie now and again. So it's nice to kind of sprinkle those in together. Um, so as we dive into the catalog specifically, um, I know, especially this time of year, and now that things are starting to open up a little bit more, a lot more people are doing events and fairs and shows, that kind of thing. So in terms of trying to reach a lot of people, I know that people or consultants tend to go for a showcase brochure or a product list. 
And these are fantastic for large amounts for, you know, potential contacts like a vendor show, or if you're doing a lot of mailers, that product list is definitely the way to go. If you're doing fundraising, I would recommend a showcase brochure. Um, but if you truly want to offer somebody an in-depth, comprehensive view of everything that we offer, the host rewards, um, staged photos of how people can style their home with decorative and fragrant pieces. And with the pictures that we include in there, show them a glimpse of the culture and what they could join and be a part of. The best way to do that is with your catalog, more so than any other printed item and definitely more so than a sale flyer or a quick buy me now, this launches tomorrow, right? So again, looking back at like how we can use both of them, but if that is too frenzy of a pace and you need to step back and just kind of go back to basics, you started with your catalog. So when you first hit submit and you got your starter kit and you got your testers and your catalogs, that's what you had and that's what you used. Um, <laughs> You didn't have all of these flyers. You didn't have, you know, sure, you, maybe you joined at a time where now you have the marketing tab images and you have all these things to help you. And you have Photify and you have all of these apps. But in earlier days, we didn't. We just had the catalog and we had testers and that's what we did. And I think sometimes getting back to the basics is where we did the most creativity and where we had to, you know, think outside the box a little bit. Like even basket parties, like that came from consultants way back in the day. We didn't think of that from a home office perspective, a lot of these ideas were built out of necessity and just kind of thinking of creative solutions along the way. Um, so anyway, going back to our catalog, there's even like some super snazzy join and post messaging that you can use in your captions and your text messages. So if you're using this for um, join messaging or host messaging, and you're like, man, what do I say? I don't want to sound fake. I don't want to sound weird. I don't want to just say join my team. If you look in that catalog, there's a million, I shouldn't say a million, but there are quite a few ways of talking about the opportunity or talking about hosting that doesn't say host a party or join my team. There are a bazillion other ways, not really bazillion, but you know what I mean? Other ways that you can phrase that. Uh, but the whole point of this is to say there's lots of things that you can get from that catalog to help you. And I will do a little shameless plug for the product training guide as well. <laughs> I've added lots of little snippets in there for the sales tips. So for all of the product, like you get the features, benefits, use, and care of all of your catalog offering. But then there's also sales recommendations or sales tips for how to promote that or how to market it um, a little for you too. A little, little hints there. And then there's a big slew on the back of that product training guide. Okay. So you know that the catalogs is great, glorious marketing piece. How do you get it in the hands of your customers? Do you anymore? Do you leave catalogs in public? Do you hand them out to people anymore? You know, after they get there, it's kind of like a tit for tat, right? Where you get their contact information and they get to have a catalog and a little sample. Um, do you ditch the catalog and run? <laughs> like if you're at a doctor's office, you just ditch it and run or you leave it on someone's porch and then, and then you're gone. And you just, well, I labeled it. It's fine. I put my label on it. They'll call me if they need anything. No, like have a purpose with it. You have a call to action. What do you want them to do? Follow me on Facebook or send me a quick note. I'll add you to my contacts list, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, but whatever you're doing with your catalog or any promotion in general, just have a purpose and make it intentional. But Think of where you go each day that you're striking up conversations um, anywhere that you go. I think especially now as we're just running in and out or there's curbside pickup, we don't engage with people as much as we used to. Um, so where do you go that you could strike up conversations with people? How do you do that? Do you need to do that online? And then how do you get creative by asking them about this catalog? So you have the printed, but we also have the digital catalog that's very interactive if they prefer to do things online. That's an option too. Um, do you give them to everybody at a home party? Are you doing home parties? Maybe you're not comfortable with that, or maybe your particular area is not endorsing that. Maybe you are comfortable with doing home parties and your customers are too. Um, do you mail them with a party packet if you're doing something virtual? Are you even doing party packs with virtual parties? Um, do you add a catalog to every direct ship order? Did you know that you could do this? <laughs> do you include one with every join packet? Are you making join packets? So all these questions, like there's a whole lot of ways that you can be promoting that go outside the realm of limited time offers that you're just, you know, 
just this barrage of imagery on your Instagram stories every time we have a sale. So are you even, the question I would ask you here is, are you promoting the catalog anymore? Or are you focused just on LTOs and maybe a little bit frustrated? Or has it really simply become easier to do LTOs and not focus on a catalog? So that's kind of an internal question that you'll answer. Or maybe we could even take it to the chat and talk through some of that too. I'm just, I'm just curious more so where um, people are finding the most success and the most focus. Um, so as I said, just be really intentional with your catalog. Besides yourself, these are one of the most powerful marketing tools you have. So there's you, you are the powerful promoter, but this catalog, it's, it's often underutilized to promote your business, to promote your products, the opportunities that we offer, whether that's the buy, host, join, or subscribe opportunity, because I think now we need to add subscribe to that, um, it's underutilized. So familiarize yourself with that catalog layout if you're not already. I, I do recommend keeping a master copy. I have one every, every six months. I keep mine. I have Sarah's scribbled across the front of it. <laughs> Nobody better steal my catalog, but I write on it. I have sticky notes all over it. I highlight my favorite sections. I circle things. If by some chance something is out of stock, I'll put a little sticky on there so I always know. And then I also, for gifting, I'll put little post-its in there and write down like who would like such and such thing or who decorates this. Or with consultants, I'll be like, oh, this person just did a really cool post with this product. I need to go back and grab that UGC for later. So just different notes that you can take. Use that as your master. Um, also, something I found that's been really helpful is to laminate your fragrance grid if you can, or at least print off just that copy and keep it with you all the time. Maybe put it in a sheet protector. If you don't have a laminator, totally fine. Get a sheet protector. Um, just so you know what scent comes in each product category. Um, if you're newer and you're not familiar yet, as you're starting to build that expertise, that would help you a lot. Um, know your party host. Know your customers. Who's your audience? Who are you trying to reach out to? And what are they there to purchase? Do you know them that well? Do you feel comfortable pairing them with the products? So I'm, I'm a huge fan of alliteration. <laughs> and I do this a lot of my Facebook lives, but like product, people, price points. Remember those three things, the product, the people, and the price points. And that's how you maybe tend to pair things together. So you're pairing people with products at a price that is comfortable for them. And again, you're being that service provider or that solution provider. Um, so I told you we would talk a little bit about categories. So maybe you are a diffuser user or you're showcasing oils and diffusers to others. Um, maybe you want to promote a mommy and me party featuring kids products or a pamper something with the body products, especially for busy moms and dads now um, any time of year. But I think especially the last two years have been particularly challenging. <laughs> Um, maybe as we head into spring cleaning, maybe you offer some sort of household cleaning or laundry. I mean, we we have the laundry love, of course, but maybe you could do something different or maybe think of creative packaging. Um, I would say like maybe even for graduates, the laundry inside like the dollar store laundry basket or something and then a roll of quarters and just, you know, recommend that. So any way that you can have fun little gifty ideas for your customers. Um, all of the unplugged items, um, fragrance flowers for teachers, for nursing homes. Um, I know a lot of people do like the scent circle fundraisers right now or the buddy drives. I've also seen a number of people doing the fragrance flowers for nursing homes. Um, anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. It might be a little late in the season. You still have some time before cutoff if you wanted to arrange something like that, but even think ahead for Mother's Day or for Easter or something like that. Um, so I mentioned earlier about the little plugs and captions and stuff. Um, the catalog really is also a recruiting tool for you. It's a sales tool. It's a marketing tool. It's not just, you know, a glossy, you know, photo album with pretty pictures of all the products we sell. It has a very, very specific purpose. And like I said earlier, other than branding yourself as a consultant, your catalog is your number one marketing tool to get in the hands of potential and existing customers um, and how you're promoting everything. So here's a, here's a little segue speaking of promotion. So if you're thinking about what to promote, where to start, what do I do? Because you don't just wanna 
throw everything at everybody like blah, blah, blah. we have this and we have this and we have this and we have this if you're listening to what they need you can help connect them the people the products the price point so think of when you're strolling through target or your favorite store whatever that may be what makes you stop and look in an end cap or a display or if you're online what stops your scroll or slows your scroll on instagram so think about that. What captures it? Is it the color? Is it the style? Is it the layout? Is it like staging? What is it about that that makes you stop and look or stop and buy? So think about that when you're promoting things online or to your customers or taking pictures, sending them off, whatever you're doing, would you buy that? If you saw someone post a picture like that, would you buy that? Does that look like, is it, does it draw you in? Is it engaging? Think of different ads that you see in a magazine or a commercial, or like I said, online, what would make you make a purchase? So think about that when you're doing your promotion and your marketing. Um, so what will you choose to highlight in terms of products this week? Um, do you have a calendar that you plot that stuff out? So for the week or the month, or if you have a plan after the holiday cutoff, um, if you're taking a break after the holiday cutoff and then you're starting strong on January 1st, what's your plan? What's your fresh New Year's plan? So when we post that new catalog during transition, I would encourage you to take some time, sit down and make that plan for how you're going to promote, not promote all the products, but really have a cadence for this week, I'm gonna focus on mini wall fans. This week, I'm gonna focus on this. This week, I'm gonna focus on this. And so you're not giving everything to everybody. You're being very targeted with your approach. Again, looking at those products and who you compare them to the people, how you compare them, looking at different price points. Are you offering bundles and really make your plan? And honestly, fill out a calendar. If you, I mean, if you don't wanna do a pen, that's cool. I respect that, grab a pencil <laughs> and then identify which product category you want to highlight each week and what that's going to entail. So are you taking pictures of existing product that you have? Or if your customers are placing orders and it's product that you don't have already, you don't have to have stock on hand because as you're doing quality control checks as these products are coming to your door, snap some pictures. Put together a cutesy little display, snap some pictures ahead of time, keep them in your camera roll, keep them in your back pocket and wait for that perfect time to post it. Because now with everyone ordering all the things in January during transition, and I'm not trying to spill the beans, but traditionally we would have a 10%. I don't know if that's happening. I can either confirm nor deny. Even if there's not a 10%, you can still say, hey, this is your last chance to get these items before our new catalog starts. If you know that some of those are gonna be discontinued. So again, plug for anything else, the Scentsy Club for the bars that are going away. But for some of these warmers too, you have them right here. You have them in all their glory. You can take a picture of them in real time and you don't have to carry a ton of product. So that's something to keep in mind every time you're getting customer orders because you could do images from the marketing tab. You could use images from Photofy. But if you have the products in hand and you're just doing quality checks for your customer's orders as you're getting them packed together, take a couple extra seconds and snap some staged photos. Like maybe have a corner in your kitchen that looks really cool with some succulents and a little cutesy sign. Just find one spot so you always have that consistency there. Or maybe pick a couple. Maybe you have a spot in the bathroom where you can showcase body products or in your laundry room for laundry stuff. So just get really intentional with how you're staging products and really promoting those in catalog. Um, so again, it's going back to that plan for January or even for the rest of December, if you want to, and then of course, moving forward into a new catalog year or season and, you know, new year, but then the season, you know what I'm saying? But that could mean, um, other than just taking pictures, you're also maybe planning Facebook lives or unboxing. You know that you have this order coming in on such and such day, set some time aside and do an unboxing. Or if you're going to do some reels, um, what that content schedule is going to look like. Um, how you're taking and creating those pictures, right? Are you going to post that in a story? Are you going to post this in a feed? Are you going to send this individually to someone who you know will love that product? So think of how you're going through all of these things. If you're going to bundle them in special collections, if you want to do one-to-one -one messages, um, something like, um, this is everything that I do for teacher gifts, right? So now you have this system or this process. This is everything I do for teacher gifts. 
This is what I do for birthday gifts. And again, offer price points. This, this is for the dudes. Here's some car kits for the dudes. Um, teenagers who just got their driver's license, maybe they need their car to smell good because if it was anything like my first car, it smelled like hot dogs and it was gross. Um, then you have uh, maybe buddy adoptions. These buddy adoptions have been really popular with the reindeer. Um, I've seen some fun ones with owls. Just be really careful not to say that it's or that it's affiliated with Harry Potter in any way. <laughs> but any of these buddy adoptions throughout the year when we have these in catalog, it doesn't necessarily just have to be an LTO or even some fun little ones with the buddy clips. Oh my Lanta, those would be so cute. You could do so many little adoptions with those little buddy clips. Um, this is what I do for realtor baskets. So anything that you can do to plan ahead to save time now or take a little time now to save you time later, to make it simple, to make it repeatable, using those catalog products so you're not so reliant on LTO frenzy in case it sells out or you can't get to it, you know you have this wealth of product to choose from. Um, you have a list of what you could offer as a backup for seasonal gifting. So if there is a sellout in any of these collections, you know this catalog inside and out, and you know these fragrances inside and out that you have an instant recommendation. Oh man, I know that was so cool, but you know what else is really cool? It's almost, I, I almost like this a little better. You could offer this warmer and this fragrance, something like that, because you know that product inside and out and people will love it just as much. Don't give them a reason to be upset, just be that solution provider. Always have that backup plan. Um, speaking of bundling, I think this is very effective for the holidays, but any gift giving moving forward. Um, the last two weeks of training webinars, we had Amy Dernan on and Susan B.I. Um, Amy did bundle up and then Susan did Ho Ho Holiday Helpers. And then I covered some in my Facebook Live last week. But there's a ton of recommendations for how to bundle these catalog products together that have nothing to do with limited time offers. It's just catalog product. So think of how you can ultimately enhance and grow your business with catalog. So think back to what you were doing when you were having the most fun. So remember when I said, okay, well, you pull out your starter kit, you had your catalogs and your testers, what'd you do? What were you doing? What were you sharing? Um, how did you do it? How did it make you feel? Think of the moment or the time where you were having the most fun in your business and go back to that. Do it. Do you like funny puns? I do. <laughs> do you like plays on words? Like look at the names of the warmers and fragrances and how you can put things together, not just for bundles, but maybe like the name or the category is the focus too. So maybe one week you are focusing on all things floral. So all of your posts, all of your images, all of your products, all of your fragrances have something to do with flowers, something like that. And then just get a little creative because again, you know your catalog inside and out, you know the products, you know how to make like a country setting or you know this retro setting and you're getting really creative with the fragrance names and the color combos. Like maybe for Valentine's Day, you're doing some wax stacks in red and pink or rainbow for St. Patrick's Day or the little shades of green for St. Patrick's Day, um, pastels for Easter. It doesn't just have to be wax stacks. You could do, of course, like the scent circle, like think back to those car kits, right? You could do the car clips, the, you know, fan, mini fan, or, you know, anything for cars that you wanted to do for these different price points. It doesn't just have to be for wax. Um, you could do something just for those pets, like we talked about earlier. If you wanted to do something, I'm going to talk on Thursday on my live about Santa Paws. You could do fun little pet combos or something like that. So you get where I'm going with that. Just be really intentional. Tap into your creative side. I'm not saying you have to be super creative, but there's tons of creative people out there that you can pull some inspiration from. So not copying them per se. It's not a copy paste, but use that for inspiration to make your own stuff. Just have fun with it. Go back. That's the bottom line. Just have, have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. Have fun again. And, and try not to let the holidays, you know, we're supposed to be spreading joy and experiencing joy, not having it sucked from us. So we want you to have fun. We want you to enjoy and rejoice and have all the fun with all the things. So like I said, I would be remiss if I did not refer you to training content we have. Um, I picked out a few, I have three trainings I wanted to show you that'll help you get back to basics with catalog products, but I think also just in how you approach your business as we head into a new year. Um, so we do have the share and sell documents, and these are for all the fragrance delivery systems. So like wax and warmers, diffusers and oils, 
fan diffusers and pods, and then we have a new one in there for the air purifier and the pods. Um, so it's how to share and sell. So we have that one, and I'll show you that in a second. And then we have one called boost your sales with simple suggestions. And this one's all about like upselling. So kind of like the, do you want fries with that, but more of the sensi version. And that one is loaded with conversation starters and conversation continuers to take the guesswork out of upselling. So it, it helps to know the products that you have in those bundles that are available in the bundle and save, but it takes the guesswork out and helps you turn a purchase of a bar or a scent circle into a six pack, or it turns it into a warmer and a six pack. Um, maybe it turns it into a Sensi Club subscription that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, and then the third training that I would recommend um, is called Riding the Waves. And that's actually within our learning plan this week. Kind of helps you navigate the waters, whether that wave is turbulent, unpredictable, or maybe it's a calm state of water <laughs> in your business. This one just talks about how to approach things as they come and go and how you are riding that wave and going with the flow. So I'll show you really quickly um, if I can share my screen. I think I can. Um, oh, no, post disabled participants. Retreat. That's okay. Even if I can't, no big deal. I can just tell you the names of those and you can find them. I, okay, you should be able to, Tina. Okay. Is it on there? Yes. Okay. So this one is called Boost Your Sales with Simple Suggestions. And this one, do you want fries with that? <laughs> and even, you know, the server who comes around, do you guys want dessert? That's it. Sometimes you say yes, sometimes you say no, but you're still asking. But this takes you through the different steps of how to keep it personal, how to let Sensi help you with the products like the bundle and save and these different specials that we have, um, even with Sensi Club to help take the guesswork out. So if you're nervous about it, we do have you start with bars. So if someone's like, yeah, I want a bar of Sunkiss Citrus. Okay, great. I can save you a dollar if you buy three. Oh, okay. So now suddenly that one bar has turned into three. Okay, well, I want four bars of sun kissed citrus. Fantastic. I can add a free one if you order one more. It's all in the wording. But again, this is just knowing your bundle and saves within the catalog. So as you scroll through here, there's tons of suggestions that are natural sounding. They're not going to be super smarmy. They're not going to be uncomfortable. These are just natural sounding conversation starters and continuers to help you boost your sales a little bit more with that one. Um, let's see, the next one I have is, this is the riding your waves one. So sometimes the sea is turbulent. Maybe you're struggling to stay afloat a little bit. Sometimes the sea is calm, your business is running smoothly. And sometimes it can be a little unpredictable and you're just waiting for that perfect wave to sweep you up again and get excited. So this one talks through the different stages of business and the ebbs and the flows and all of those things and how you can stay engaged no matter what season we're in. And it's all about planning and who you're working with, who you're, you're working with right alongside you, who's your network, who are your, you know, your team members, your, your rally cry when you need a little extra support, um, how to anticipate things, um, knowing where to go for resources, for help, um, your consultant calendar, your product status list, your news section, all of those things, spending a little time each day, maybe working on your daily power hour. And that could be, you know, checking up on your sales and spending some time on focused, dedicated time for your business. And then it gives you some suggestions there to avoid a wipeout <laughs> and all of these fun things as you're going down. And then it gives you some next steps that you can follow. And then last but not least, these are pretty beefy. So this one is like a six pager. This is the, um, the diffusers and pods. Um, and so this, this um, grouping, the share and sell. So there's share and sell for all of the um, uh, fragrance delivery systems. But basically it goes through the selling model. And this is a sales model that not just Sensi uses. It's not specific just to um, direct selling but it's sales training in general, where you have that training. Like if you're like, ooh, I'm not a salesperson. No, you don't have to be. We're going to help you become one. Um, but this takes you through that sales system of planning and prospecting, where you're knowing the product, the value proposition, what's valuable about this product? What are the main talking points? 
um, knowing who, what your resources are, knowing your audience, who's your target customer. So we will give you target customers for all of these things. Um, who you can reach out to specifically. So you're gonna make a plan. Here's your contact list. What's your preferred selling method? Are you doing virtual? Are you doing in person? Are you doing fairs and shows? All of the things. Then you have preparation, how you're building awareness. And then you start having conversations and looking for cues and looking for opportunities of where you might be able to pair people with products the right way and pair them with what they're looking for and what you know they will buy based on their shopping tendencies and what they're looking for. Um, different ways to promote it. If it's a video, if it's a photo, different things. Um, and then also a really important part of that sales cycle is the position and the close. You're listening for cues because people will buy from you because they're looking for a result or a solution. And you can provide both of them. So you have a problem to solve or they're looking for desired results and you have the positioning to do that to close the deal. But you're listening. You're not pushing. You're listening to what their needs are and then you will be that solution provider. So for example, I hate wax spills on my walls and carpet. I really need something for my hallway and my kiddos room, but I'm just so tired of cleaning up wax spills. I totally understand. The diffuser is a no, fill, no spill fragrance. It's ideal for high traffic and play areas. I put this in my kiddo's room. I put this in the hallway because the dog knocks over it all the time, blah, blah, blah. So just again, conversation starters that will help you there. Um, lots of different scenarios that you can go. And then you have buying options. So I know that these are these. this last one is really beefy. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. But I think if you take the time to really go through it, it'll take you through that whole cycle from planning what you're going to do to promoting, to having conversations with customers, to closing the sale. And then remember that customer service at the end with follow up and asking for referrals. So it takes you through the entire selling cycle, whether that's catalog or LTO, whatever you're selling, it'll take you through that whole process. Um, and then it again has some suggestions there for conversations. But anyway, those are those three. And then if you're on there, it kind of on the training section, it'll link to other ones that are similar. So you can immediately click on diffusers and oils or purifier. And then we also have the product training guide right there too. So <laughs> lots of fun ways to stay engaged with the products that go far beyond your limited time offer experience. So I hope it's helpful. I know I talked a mile a minute and I gave you a ton of information, um, but bottom line, you have a wealth of products and information at your fingertips. So you don't have to be reliant on LTOs. Um, you have so much stuff to share and talk about any time of year. Yeah, you brought up some really awesome, awesome points awesome. there. Uh -oh. Who's talking? Go for it. Who's talking? Someone else talking? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I thought I heard echo. Um, so you brought up a couple of really good points. Um, you know, is, is, are we frustrated because are we, is our main focus LTOs? Is that when we're only marketing the customers and then having parties and then things are selling out and this and that. Um, and I will say LTOs for me is an excuse to reach out more. Um, but the basis of my reaching out always needs to be the catalog. Um, and all my parties are, are, I don't do LTO parties or anything like that, but, um, but that's a good reminder. And then I loved what you said about how last week you bought a calendar for 40 and then this week they're on sale for seven. That happens all the time. Like it's not just Cincy that will put limited time offers on items or things like that. Cincy did not create the will or recreate. I mean, they, they're doing things that's already out there. It's just, we're becoming aware of different situations like that. For example, I bought this awesome um, neck massager heater thing that got, goes over your shoulders. And um, my friend posted a coupon and it was like $13. And it was the most amazing $13 I've ever spent. I use it. It's plugged into our couch and I use it all the time. And it's like, it feels like someone's rubbing your neck and everyone that comes over is like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I was like, well, they're like $60 now, but I bought mine for 13, you know? Um, but it's just, I happened to get in on the deal. If I had bought it before, it was still amazing. The quality is amazing. It works great. It's worth every bit of $60, right? And even the friends that have used it, will go and they'll buy one. And they're like, I don't care if I'm not getting it for 13. Like this thing is amazing. And so I think that's the same with Cincy too, just because it's cheaper doesn't mean the quality is different. They're getting an amazing price or amazing product, whether they pay 40 or 13, 
or 14 or 15, but utilize that to send a gifts. You know, if you know, it's a great product, send a gifts and you're still taking advantage of it or buy yourself a couple extra. If you just bought 10 bath soaks for teacher gifts, buy five more and you're getting them for a third of the price and use them as other gifts or save them for Valentine's day or end of the year teacher gifts or so it is all perspective for sure. And, um, but our foundation for sure needs to be the catalog. And I hadn't even really hadn't thought about that, Sarah, until you said that. So, um, and, th and that's just it. I mean, anytime, if you think of, um, like any type of black Friday or cyber Monday or end of, end of season sale, like people are just trying to, you know, clear out their inventory or, you know, get rid of the stock or whatever the heck that's anywhere, but you would normally pay X amount for like a mattress pad or whatever, but you know, like, Ooh, I know on black Friday, they're going to chop that price way down, but you're, it's, it's not devaluing the, the item because it still has that value price and value are very, very different because mm -hmm. you can have something that costs an exorbitant amount of money that has high or low value, or you could have something that like my kid made me that's priceless. I can't, it's like, you know, crayon and paper. It didn't cost much, but that value is unmatched. So it's just different in kind of perspective and how you're looking at it. Um, but I know it doesn't take the, the huge sting out of everything. Cause I know it's crap. You're like, dang it, I could have saved 20 bucks. But you also know that you got one where you could have run the risk of not having one at all if you had waited. So, yep. I don't know. Yep. Could go away. I love it. I love it, Sarah. And I'm glad that you showed all the training little areas because Tiffany Ashcroft said she didn't even know that all those were there. So Ooh. I'm going to, yeah. So I'm going to, this is recorded. I'm going to upload okay. to our channel and I'm going to put it on all of our pages especially for all of our new consultants and then also put a plug in for your consultant trainings that you do every yeah. week. Yeah. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Mountain time. You can register for those on your workstation. And then also if you have notifications turned on for Cincy Family Consultant Facebook page, I do post the registration link first thing Tuesday mornings. So you can just join in that way too or register. Um, and then I do record them. And then we post the video to the training section of Cincy Success. Um, and then, um, I'm always happy to send out the link too. It's unedited, of course, <laughs> but yeah, it's real life. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, well, Sarah, you, you are so amazing. We appreciate you so much. Um, um, taking your time, you could have been out walking a dog or watching a Hallmark or living on your son. How old is your son now? 13 he was a year oh. old when I started Sensi, and now that kid is 13 with attitude and armpit hair and I can't believe it oh and probably a little bit smelly if he's anything like my kid <sighs> oh I'm telling you what if I did not have Sensi in my household I don't know what I would do because <laughs> mercy and he plays soccer too so his cleats and shin guards okay. and his socks just oh that's I, that's why I sell the most honestly because the boys are in so many sports, but their clothes yes. always smell good. Always. Seriously. I mean, Jackson will be like nasty. And then you'll smell his Jersey. Like, Oh, that actually still smells good. I was like, Ooh, Jersey so, smells nasty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but seriously, we, we thank you so much. You are so, so sweet to do that. And, um, if I, if we don't talk to you before Christmas, I hope you have oh, a really it's my day. pleasure. Thanks for having me be on tonight. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. If you ever have any questions, please please don't hesitate to reach out. You guys have a phenomenal group of leaders here that have so much information to share and so much experience, expertise. I'm um, just a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. And please, please remember that we are here for you at the home office too. So reach out anytime. You can email me swalker at cincy.com. Um, definitely tune into trainings and the Cincy Family Consultant page. We have lots of good stuff on there for you too. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Have a good night. Awesome. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.